Hey Little Spring Kids! Today we are going to be learning that God delivers. So for the last few weeks we've been in the part of the big God story that happened after Jesus died and rose again. We've been hearing about Paul, whom God called to go on a missionary journey. Last week we talked about how Paul was in Antioch with one of the first Christian churches outside of Jerusalem. Because God wants everyone to know him, he sometimes calls people to leave their homes and travel around the world to tell people about him. These people are usually called missionaries. But a missionary can also be anyone who tells people about God. God led Paul to many places while he was on his missionary journeys. In each place, God used Paul to tell other people about him. Today we are going to talk about when Paul and Silas went to a city named Philippi. Philippi was a rich, beautiful city. So let's open our Bibles to Acts chapter 16, verse 16, and follow along as we listen to the story. So Paul and Silas arrived in Philippi and immediately went to the temple to pray. While they were walking there, a girl followed them and made fun of them. She was a slave girl who earned a great deal of money from, for her owners by fortune telling. A fortune teller is someone who claims to be able to tell another person's future. Though Paul and Silas could have ignored her, they recognized that she was being controlled by God's enemy, Satan, who was trying to stop Paul and Silas from what they came to do. Paul spoke to her and freed her from the enemy of God. So this might have been good for the girl, but it was bad for her owners. She could not make any more money for them as a fortune teller. And this made her owners mad. So they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to face the authorities. They accused Paul and Silas of throwing the city into an uproar by supporting customs unlawful for the Romans to accept or practice. The authorities ordered Paul and Silas to be beaten and thrown into jail. The jail was underground and very dark. Everyone was kept in one room, and Paul and Silas were put into stocks so that they could not move. It may have been pretty scary in that jail. How would you feel if you were in jail? Maybe scared or nervous? Paul and Silas might have felt some of that too. But do you know what they did? From inside the dark prison, they sang praises to God. Paul and Silas loved God so much that even in the worst situation imaginable, they praised him. As they were singing, something amazing happened. The Bible says, suddenly there was such a violent earthquake that the foundation of the prisons was shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. Wow, this earthquake was huge. God is in control of everything. And he used an earthquake to free his missionaries from jail. This was great for Paul and Silas, but what about the jailer? It was his job to keep them all locked up. And now all of the prisoners were free. He would have gotten in big trouble if they had escaped. The Bible says that when the jailer saw the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul and Silas hadn't run away. They stayed at the prison and shouted, don't harm yourself, we are all here. When the jailer heard them shouting, he called for light, rushed in and fell trembling before Paul and Silas and asked, sirs, what must I do to be saved? God used this situation to bring the jailer to him. Of course, Paul and Silas had the answer to his question. They said, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. The jailer washed Paul and Silas's wounds. Finally, Paul and Silas went to the jailer's house and they celebrated together. Though some hard things happened, God the deliverer was there. The word deliver is a really cool word. In this situation, the word deliverer is not like a mailman delivering a package. It refers to freeing someone. God delivered the slave girl from her bondage to God's enemy. God delivered Paul and Silas from prison. God delivered the jailer from a life separated from him. God did all of this because he is good, he loves us, and he wants everyone to know him. And you know what? God still delivers today. He still has power over everything, even earthquakes. He still loves us so much that he wants to deliver us from situations that make us afraid or sad. He still longs to be close to us, to deliver us from separation from him. God wants our bondage of sin or fear replaced with the joy and peace of knowing him.